Welcome back to my closet, the hot mess itself. If you have watched my channel for a little bit, you would see that this is my fourth time doing a closet clean out. And the only reason that I do these is because if I didn't, I would never get rid of any of my clothes. And your girl's got a lot of clothes, so I need to get rid of them at least once a year. Although I say that and I'm worried that I'm not gonna get rid of anything, but hopefully that is not the case. <sighs> okay, I honestly have no idea where to even start. Let me give you a little tour without moving the camera too much. Maybe I'll just use my phone actually. Oh God, when I switch it to this, this looks embarrassing. This is, there's so much happening in here, which is why we need to do a little declutter. Okay, so bags, obviously this, Majority is mine until here. That's his. That stuff we won't take care of today. Uh, most of these, actually, I think all of these except for maybe two boxes are his. This is his. And this is his. All of this is mine. And all of this is mine. Yeah. There's a lot to get into. Let's do it. Okay, so I think the easiest thing to go through first would be my dresses, because there's not that many. And I can already think of one that I want to get rid of right off the bat. So let's do that. Ooh, okay, Dr. Seuss. First dress is my birthday dress from this year. I am going to keep this. I really don't have much occasion to wear it, but I'm at least going to keep it for a year. I've only had it for like six months. This... I do want to get rid of. I've tried so hard to make this look cute and I just can't seem to do it. Also, it's very, very, very short. <laughs> so we're over that. Okay, I've had this dress and it's had the tag on it since I've got it. And I have yet to find a place to wear it. And also the straps are just too long for, I apparently have a very short torso or like shoulder to armpit area because straps are always way too long for me which is super annoying so i keep telling myself i'm gonna like cut and tie them or something but in reality i've had this for like two years now and i have yet to do it so that means that i'm never gonna do it okay off to a good start i don't know if i've talked about this dress if you've seen any of my other closet cleanouts there's probably gonna be a couple of the same items because it hasn't been that long and i don't shop that much but I would absolutely get rid of this because it's kind of small, but it has sentimental value. I wore this on my first day with Austin, so I feel like I can't get rid of it, even though it's like torn, but it just like, it was our first day. <laughs> okay, like I said, that was quick, like I thought so. Okay, moving down, if you can kind of tell, I don't know if you can see, it goes back pretty far, but the backpack is mainly just hangers, but I do have some shorts and some skirts. For these shorts, I love the way that these shorts look. I think they're so cute, and I'm just a sucker for houndstooth, so I really like these shorts. However, they have a zip on the side. And at the bottom of the zip, there's like something poking out of the zipper that hurts me so much that last time I wore them, I ended up with like bruises, like it was like cutting my skin. <laughs> so that should tell you I should get rid of them immediately. But I kind of just want to figure out how to make it stop doing that so I can keep wearing these shorts. I'll see if I can DIY it and if I can't, then I will get rid of them. And I'm going to actually do that, not just say that. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. <sighs> Okay. Okay. Dang. Okay, uh, like literally off the bat, I am getting rid of more than I thought I was. So low key, I should just put my shorts on this now that there's only one skirt on here. So these are all my jeans, as you can see. I'm definitely in the market for some new jeans because I don't really like half of the jeans I have, which is probably exactly what I said last time I did a closet video. So if you've sensed a theme, I have a lot of clothes that I don't really like. I do think I'm gonna keep all my jeans this time because I don't like half of them, but they all have different occasions and styles to where like if I didn't have one of them, I wouldn't have anything in place of it. 
if that makes sense. When I get some jeans money, I'll get some new jeans. Moving on. I can't even see what I'm looking at here. Lighter coats and crew necks, cause I have my actual like big jackets in the coat closet. I've debated getting rid of this for a while just because it's kind of tight, but I've also kind of wanted to cut it for a long time. So I kind of want to cut it, like cut the pocket off. Hmm, I'm gonna put it in the maybe because I low-key think I'm just gonna cut it and see if I like it again. Speaking of sweatshirts that I have cut, this is a sweatshirt that I had for a while where I debated getting rid of it for so long that it was in one of my, uh, I like to do this thing where I will have like a maybe pile and then I'll put it in a bag and put it like at the top of the closet and if I don't touch anything in there for like a month, then I'll get rid of it. And this has been the only thing that I have taken out of one of those bags. And I still have it and I wore it yesterday. So I guess I'm glad about that. I guess I'll just say this now. I'm just going through my clothes in this video, but I am gonna make a separate video where I organize everything cause there's a lot of organizing to be had in here. So if you like that kind of thing, stay tuned for that. Cause that'll probably be, I'll probably film that right after this, honestly. Ha. <laughs> uh, I bought this sweater uh, like in December because I was gonna wear it to an ugly sweater bar crawl and then we didn't end up having the bar crawl so I'm tempted to keep it for next year and just like put it up with my seasonal stuff and keep it I could always get another one next year but I thought it was kind of cute honestly Oh yes, and I forgot that I told Austin that I was filming this this morning and he told me he had a tiny little pile up there that he wants to get rid of. So let's go through that while we're here. Oh, I just got slapped in the face by some pants. Some shorts, some pants. I'm wondering if these are the pants, wait. Two pairs of the same pants and you're getting rid of both of them? I'm like wondering, I can't remember what color of pants he was wearing. Ooh, was it these ones? He was wearing a pair of pants a few months ago when we were doing um, the lime scooters and he fell right outside of our apartment because his scooter like slipped on a puddle and he ripped his pants. And I'm wondering if one of these is those, those pants. That was tragic. <laughs> so far, nothing that I can steal, unfortunately. These are like the softest pants I've ever felt though. Darn, I really thought it was these. I want to show you guys the rips. <laughs> uh, Patagonia sweater. I should take all of these. You know what? Here's the thing about Austin. He's lazy and doesn't like to take his clothes to get money out of them. So I'm going to take these clothes and I'm going to get money out of them because these are nice and I know that I can get money out of them. Okay, I'm already embarrassed to open any of these drawers and show you what they look like inside, but... We're gonna do it because transparency, I have nothing to hide except for that I'm messy and lazy. <laughs> but who isn't? I actually, speaking of that, I actually just saw this article yesterday. I didn't read it, but it was an article about how Marie Kondo doesn't want to be so organized as much anymore or something of the sort. So that makes me feel better about myself. But here is my pajamas. And my crochet stuff. I don't know why all my crochet stuff is in here, but it is. Here's my Yao Ming pajamas that I didn't get rid of and I'm still not going to. <laughs> I probably won't get rid of pajamas just because I wear pajamas every day. And I don't really have any intention on getting rid of any of my crochet, except I would actually be super down to get rid of this one if you saw my crochet video. It's just too small and I won't wear it ever, so I don't have any reason to have it. I guess I could cut it and pull the yarn out. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll repurpose the yarn. We'll see. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this one is always the drawer that is the worst every time. Because it's my shirts and my tops and my tank tops. And just a lot of things that are easy to get rustled up. I don't even want to go through this, but here we go. This I got as a Christmas gift this year from Austin's uncle and it is, okay, so I got, I wore this to Coachella last year 
And it was cute, it had its moment, but where the hell am I ever going to wear this again? I don't know, I don't go to raves or anything like that, which is like the only place I could think of wearing this. You can't like wear this again, cause it was like a, ooh, that's unique. And then if you wear it again, it's not as, ooh. <laughs> Kawhi's retirement, or Jersey retirement, he's not retired. This is such a terrible way to go about this. Maybe I will move this to my bed. I'll pour them all out on my bed and do it that way because this is not really working. One moment. Let's see if I can toss all of these onto the bed and have them not fall off. Okay, let's go through the shirts. We already decided on this one. This can stay. And here we have the brightest shirt known to man. Is it blinding you because it's just so neon and in your face and loud? <laughs> mm, it's a maybe for now. Remember this top from the summertime that I pinned in the back? I have yet to wear it again since then. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it though, for now. I bet though, anything that next closet clean out I do, I probably will get rid of it. I just would like to wear it more than once before I get rid of it. Okay. Also not bad, our pile is growing. How did this get in here? <laughs> you know, just a nail tip. If you're somebody who likes organization, you're gonna hate me for this. But don't you worry, I'll come back and organize it later for another video. <laughs> and also, I will go ahead and de-wrinkle all of these before I put them back in. Okay. Oh. We're not gonna do that drawer. So for the last things that I can think of besides shoes are these two bins. I have swimsuits and I have graphic tees. There was a shirt in here actually that I was down to get rid of, but it's not in here. So I will have to find it to get rid of it. Swimsuits. I did just buy two new swimsuits. So let's see if there's anything I can replace. I have two swimsuits, specifically swimsuit bottoms that are my family friendly <laughs> swimsuit like bottoms because I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. There are certain occasions when there's family around and I would like to not have my whole butt out. I should just get rid of these though, because they're kind of small. I am tempted to get rid of this one because I didn't realize how micro the cups were gonna be, even though it did say micro cups on the listing. I guess I just underestimated. Well, I got rid of a top and a bottom, so it's basically like one swimsuit. Oh my god. <laughs> I should probably get rid of this even though I've never worn it once. I bought this for Halloween because I was planning to be Dexter's laboratory. <laughs> and I didn't want to have a wig or like, you know, orange hair, so I just bought an orange beanie. And then I didn't end up being Dexter because Austin was supposed to be Mandark and he didn't. So yeah, that's the story to that. But this was only like $4 on Amazon, so who cares? And I just, where the hell am I gonna wear this? Oh God, the bottom of that box was dusty. The thing that's weird about having Mariner's beanies is that the Mariner's season is the whole summertime, so having a palm beanie feels weird for that time of year. <laughs> this, um, this was attached to the Mariner's beanie because it was a it was a Father's Day game, so they were giving beard beanies. <laughs> so my dad was here, my whole family was here that weekend, so we all got beard beanies. And I did actually end up wearing this for SantaCon the next year after that. That was pretty fun, actually. I definitely don't need this beard, though. Okay, look at this pile. I thought I wasn't gonna get rid of anything. This happens every time though. I think I'm gonna get rid of nothing and then I end up with a pretty good sized pile. 
Okay, I got distracted on Instagram for like 15 minutes, um, and then I decided that I don't actually want to compile all my shoes in one place, so I just went through my shoes and picked um, two pairs that I want to get rid of, because it's easier that way, I'm sorry. I'm going to get rid of these boots that I've had for a long time, and then just a regular pair of black heels that hurt my feet. But that brings us to the end, and... Not gonna lie, I feel like I did okay. That is plenty of clothes and I'm pretty happy about it. Thank you yet again for coming on this fourth installment of cleaning out my closet and getting rid of my clothes. I appreciate you being here with me. Also, this is your sign to clean out your closet, so go do that. And as always, make sure to like and comment and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.